In this clip we are looking at the risks involved in an overtake situation on a dual carriageway. Currently we're passing a lorry in lane 1 and up ahead another HDV has pulled out to overtake three others. So the question here is, when would it be safe to move through ourselves? There are a number of things to consider as what if scenarios before moving through. How long is it going to take the tanker to perform the overtake? It actually takes about a minute and a half from pulling out to completing the manoeuvre and this is just under a mile and a half ahead. What if it decides to abandon the overtake and slow down and pull back in? Will he know I'm behind? What if the first HGV big overtaken also decides to pull out for an overtake? Will he know I'm alongside or in his blind spot? It's a UK HGV so the driver is on the right but always useful to look at number plates to work this out. If you proceed alongside the HGVs, you'll become boxed in by the one in front and the one on the left. Also, the dual carriageway barrier on the right and the car behind will almost certainly follow in too close. And in fact, it does, with no concept of following distance. At one point, they're only about one and a half seconds behind, and given the wet conditions, this should be more like four seconds. Overall, you would have no knowledge of anything happening outside your now very limited and restricted field of view. At the end of this video is another clip from a few miles up the road showing why you don't want to be trapped alongside a HGV with nowhere to go. So the best option for the entire sequence is to wait for the overtaking HGV to clear further, controlling the situation with the car behind, and watch for a next safe position where we will not be boxed in. Then we wait again until it has cleared the next two closely following HGVs, after which it's safe to pass all three. And here's that other clip of a HGV having to take avoiding action for a broken down car in lane 1 and why you would not want to be alongside when that happens. We hope you found this video useful, if so press like and click to subscribe to 3 Counties Motorcycle Training to keep updated with new videos and stay safe.